Man, it has been a while. Uh, looks like they got, looks like they had a few in. This is the Gladiator recolor. Take one of those. It's a little dream camper. Daughter would like that. Looks like they got a few things. Nothing good though. The Billy Goat. Huh. Let's see, they got a whole bunch of five packs in. Um, I feel like A-Fall Man would like that. The Batman series. Don't care for anything in that. Okay. This won't hang up. Looks like that's really it though, but we can hang these up. I don't know why these are thrown down. Hang these up, and we'll leave the steamboat and the other Jeep Gladiator for somebody else. Here's the turtle vans, don't care for those either. One, two Porsche 962s. Alright guys, so I put the Batmobile, little snow plow or street plow, that one back, and I'm only going to get these two for my daughter. We'll go ahead and take the bricking trails. I think uh, if a fall man needs that, I'll send it to him. And then I need this Borla Gladiator. So, hey, let's see. You got a little Austin Mini Cooper, Ford Capri. I do have one, the silver. No, that's kind of cool. Definitely a nice recolor. What's this one? Ooh, there we go. We got the Widow 70 El Camino. Nice. Glad I came back to look. Then nothing new for those. All right, got a fresh, fresh drop. Let's see what do we got? So we got the 70 Chevelle. What else do we got? So this is B case. Um, ooh, there we go. Nice. I think we I think we got that one already. In the latest, same with the A86. Got the Volkswagen. Ooh, there we go. New wheel variation. What else? What else? There's a Firebird, but I already got that one. Got some good ones in here. Another McLaren. Got the gasser. Ooh, there we go. Got the Corvette. Ooh, there we go. Nice. There's the caddy. Already got that one though. Don't need it. Porsche. Mercedes. There's another B BMW. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. A flyby. That's another one of those. Just gotta really make sure I look over everything. Don't need another McLaren or Gasser, so we're gonna leave all those behind. But at least we got the BMW and a couple of the cars I've been wanting to get. Take these and leave the rest.
Welcome back to another episode and finally check this out two bags from Target We only have one Target. So this was yesterday. This was today And then I have not shown you this haul from last weekend now. This is some trader market finds I didn't get to film anything, but check this out guys. We finally have a new variation in the collection of the Mustang funny car look at this one man Oh, that is super clean. Never seen this variation, didn't know it existed. It is a opening body, so it is a full metal cast. You have the nice satin finish, and it looks like it says El Capataz. Hot Wheels Finest, little Sheriff Deco going on. Absolutely freaking like it, guys. But it's out of the Team Drag Racing Series. Check that out, man. That is awesome. And it's a new edge body style. Look at that. Now, the ones that I have of the funny car, um, I believe are 2005 to 09 S197s. I don't have many of the new edge funny cars, but there we go. Pick this one up. And then look at this beauty right here, guys. The Volkswagen Sakaro GT24. You guys had seen Rich had sent me a blue one, I believe it was. And then of course, right after that, we head over there and I got my hands on this beauty. Look at that lime green and white 10 spokes. That is an awesome color setup. And then of course you do have the nice rally art, little card art on here. So you do have the Ford Escort, the Lancer Evolution. I think that one's yellow. Then you got the Mini Cooper S Challenge, the 2009 Ford Focus, the Subaru WRX STI and this beauty love this livery love the setup awesome casting so that makes number two in the collection and we scored a shoe box look at this beauty now i don't remember which color variation i got in a package prior um i gotta look but i know for sure i do not have this blue metallic this is gorgeous look at that got the black mc5s Nice blue metallic with the flame work on there out of the Hot Wheels showroom. God, that is a super cool casting. I think I only have two variations of that as well. So here we go, two more additions, two variations. But look at this one, guys. I could not pass this up. This is one of my favorite 70 Chevelle castings that Hot Wheels does. Um, it is right up there with the 65 2 plus 2. And look at that beautiful dark blue metallic with the nice racing livery on there you got the huge number 10 in bold white numbers and then there you go you got the red and yellow striping running down the side with a beautiful chrome five spokes to just really tie in that stance look at that god that thing is sweet out of the hot wheels workshop check out these loose ones we picked up this i could not let go um, another 25 cent car, you have the back end of a Chevy, maybe a 55 to 57 Chevy, onto a motorcycle. Look at that. I have never seen this casting. It's a pearl white. You got the Longmont Police Deco on there. And check that out, guys. Just an awesome casting. Now, you guys know I do have a lot of motorcycle variations. Um, that is just another rabbit hole I went down. Just thought they were really cool. It started out with the Ducati, um, and then I got the BMW, and then I just started going down the holes of getting motorcycles. But this one, I could not let go, guys. Check that out. The Boss Haas Cycle. <laughs> that is so cool. That is what I'm talking about, guys. And then to follow up with another variation, we have the 68 El Camino in the pearl white this time fort worth fire um, the last one i picked up was yellow and black so this is just a recolor of the exact same deco um, that we picked up before from the traders market so this is an awesome one definitely in good shape it does have the old motor casting the newer ones don't have this inlet right there it just comes up in some velocity stacks but man this thing looks really good thought that went together very well so wanted to pick them up and then I picked up this casting I do have one of these carded and in different color variations I don't remember what it's called so I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to comment down below but this thing was just too good to pass up um, very good condition especially being in a loose bin um, but look at that nice red interior over the dark charcoal maybe a black metallic 
definitely is a nice color setup. So there is that one. And then I did pick up the new recolor of the Mazda Miata MX-5 out of Matchbox. I did open it up as soon as I got home. Definitely do like the new recolor, but I'm not a fan of those stripes. If they removed those, it would look so much cleaner, but I can go ahead and do that myself with some nail polish remover. Um, but I do like the k and Deco and the Brembo Tampo right there. The wheel choice is perfect. It's just a cool little car. So I do have like three or four different color variations of this casting as well. And the last one I picked up is just the blue circle tracker. I do have a few variations of this. Most of the recent recolors and then of course an out of country exclusive. Can't remember if it's Canada or Australia. Um, but I'll post it up on the screen, that way you guys can know which one I'm talking about. Was also another Trader's Market find, so that's what we picked up last weekend. I didn't get to really showcase that to you guys because of the amount of packages we had. Here we go. This was from today's haul, guys. We had a fresh drop, and look at this. So I did leave a lot of castings behind. I'm sure you guys are gonna comment. I did leave a treasure hunt behind. I left the Triassic 5, Gasser, and a couple other ones because I have them already. But I did not have the new wheel variation Tesla Cybertruck. So if you guys had seen this, you're probably thinking, oh, it's just a carryover. Um, they actually switched out the wheels to these black bead locks, which I think is a solid choice. Um, the first one has the more modern off-road style, more skinny style off-road wheel. I'm not too big a fan of those. They do look good on certain castings, but I'm glad that they didn't try to paint this and make it all crazy looking. They just did a simple wheel swap or wheel variation. So there we go. Back to how it used to be, guys. Just looking for wheel variations. Um, that is one thing that people are going to overlook all the time. So there you go. Just beware that the new 2022 re-release of this casting has the black bead locks on there. So there we go. There's that one. This one, guys, the 76 Greenwood Corvette. Look at that. At first, I thought it was black and yellow, but it is not. It is a super dark blue metallic. Definitely loving the yellow stripes over that, and it looks really good with the black MC5s. Now, I think this would have been a great super, especially being in a Spectra Flame blue or maybe the Spectra Flame smoked black. I think it would look awesome, but there we go. Another recolor in the collection. I'm looking to rebuild those Greenwoods again. And then here we go. I picked up a second Mighty K. A very nice one out of the Ryu rides. Loving the full tampos of the taillights, license plate. This thing is fully done. Um, we picked this one up not that long ago. So this is a second one. This one, guys, I was super stoked for this. It is the new 73 BMW 3.0 CSL race car. Oh, that was one long breath. But there we go. Looking really good in the Castrol livery. Um, you have the nice yellow enamel with the 73 meatball out of the retro racers. Definitely do like this. Now this is the main line of the Super. Um, if I find the Super, awesome. If not, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it, guys. Um, my whole thing is just finding the variations and just castings I enjoy. So this one is an awesome one to add to the collection. I don't think this is new, actually. This has probably been released before. You guys let me know down in the comments. Um, Cause if it did, it would say new for 2022 just like that one so if there is another one let me know and then this one i was excited for i'm glad they re-released this one for this year it is a beautiful burgundy color i don't know what to call it but that color setup with the cream meatball on the side and the black striping of course throwing on some black steelies oh my god this thing is beautiful digging the chrome interior just for the fact of having the chrome front end um, that's the only way they can pull that off. But there we go, guys. Another awesome recolor. So last weekend, I picked up the older release of it. And then we have the new 2022 release recolor. And it just looks so fresh. So it's out of the Hot Wheels Contoured series. So I can't wait to see what else is in there. And then the last one we picked up is the Mazda Repu in this really nice orange enamel. You got the retro slot wheels in chrome, the Mazda Tampos right there, and of course you still have the rotary power and the taillight deco, so I'm glad they haven't changed anything on that end. 
um, but it's out of the Hot Wheels Hot Trucks for the 2022 B case. Awesome ones right there. I know you guys are probably wondering what happened to the Baja Bone Shaker. Well, it is right here. Your man opened it up. I just had to, because this thing is awesome. Look at that. Oh man, you've seen this deco. I believe it's the exact same deco that's on the normal Bone Shaker. You have the modern off-road wheels. These are the ones that are on the older Cybertruck. Um, but you have the gold ring to help tie in that deco just like the traditional bone shaker and then it is a closed top with the off-road light so the last time i saw this one and i have in my collection was the treasure hunt from the halloween series here we go we have number two in the collection now from yesterday's haul i scored this bad boy i actually want to reach out to my buddy a fall man um, to see if he needs this or wants it this just really screamed out to me because he is a huge brick seller. Um, he sent me a bricks Bronco that I put together and I have in my collection. And this just looked just like it. So I picked this up, hopefully he wants it or needs it or I'll just send it to him anyways. Um, but it is a really cool teal color, nice white beadlocks. It's out of the Xperia Motors. It is the bricking trail. So definitely a little bit of the Jeep Bronco feel. Definitely like this one, but I picked it up for him. Hopefully he will want this or need it in his collection. Then this one right here, guys. <laughs> I was excited to find this one because it was upside down on the shelf after I made my rounds. Um, but the 70 El Camino out of the Matchbox series in this wicked cool Widow Deco. I thought it was a Black Widow when I seen someone post about it, which it is but I thought it said Black Widow on the side, but no, this thing is super cool. It is awesome. I definitely do dig that livery on there. And I picked this up for my daughter. She hasn't seen it yet, so she'll be excited to get this one. Um, so there we go, that one's for her. Next one is this beauty right here, guys. I have almost every variation of the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. And when I seen the Borla Deco, I just had to have it in the collection. When they did it on the Mustangs and the Camaros and a few other castings, I think this Deco just looks awesome. Love the color scheme of it. You do have the motorcycle still casted on the back, black bead locks. So glad they didn't throw the mud tires on there. It just looks really good all black like that. So out of the Baja Blazers, we have this recolor. The next one is a recolor from Matchbox. It is the Ford Capri in this really nice legend lime. You have the matching interior. You got the fender vents detailed up. And then of course you have the black steelies with the chrome center caps. Nice headlight detail and grill, but no tail lights, but awesome one. I think this one is a little bit nicer than the silver, which we saw previously released before this one. Um, but I love this legend lime green. That is an awesome recolor right there. So two from Matchbox and the rest are Hot Wheels. The last one guys, last one was this one. The Jeep Gladiator out of Fast and the Furious. You guys had commented before that I kept leaving it behind. Someone had left this randomly on an aisle when I was walking out checking these out. And I was like, you know what? Let me just pick it up. Um, I do have all the other Jeep Gladiators. Why skip this one? Um, especially being a premium. So that is not the coolest part about this one. It is what my man rang it up as. So he was having issues scanning it. Maybe that's why someone just put it back on the shelf just randomly. So he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put it in for a dollar. So we got this Fast and the Furious Jeep Gladiator Premium for one dollar right there. Of course you see the three Hot Wheels and the two Matchbox, which were right there, and the two Matchbox at the normal price and the premium for a dollar. So you cannot beat that, guys. I was like, wow, that is an awesome surprise. I am so stoked I grabbed that. So that was my haul from last weekend. We're going again tomorrow. Hopefully we can find some more casting variations, some old vintage die casts, because you guys already know that's how I collect, and that's what I get more excited over. So we did get some new 2022 castings and recolors and variations in the collection. Um, and there we go. Opened up the Baja Bone Shaker. I know everyone's gonna be pretty shocked about that because it was not even in my hands for like two minutes and I opened it up. So not too bad of a haul. I know it's not a lot, but at the same time, these were the only ones I wanted. I left the treasure hunt. I left a bunch of other castings in that dump bin just for everyone else. 
Um, a couple of those I did have. So a huge shout out to Sammy, Adrian over at Big A's Diecast, and a couple other people who sent me some castings for this year. That's why I left those behind. My homies hooked me up. I don't need these. Somebody else needs them because we've been dry here. So definitely wanted to share the wealth, leave those behind for other collectors in the area because it is crazy. We have one Target and two Walmarts. So I don't want to take up everything. But as always, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Comment down below which one of these new 2022 case releases or recolors was your favorite. And of course, our Traders Market Haul. Let me know some info down below on this one right here, as well as the Boss Haas cycle. If anyone else collects these, let me know. That is all we got, guys. So until next time, this is the Mustang Hunter. Peace.